Hi. Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Habon de Calabaza in one of those bags. We recently got this um this bag and we have this Habon de Calabaza that we're going to use. It's basically a, a saddle soap. So again, and we have all everything that we need. We have gloves, we have water. We have the um towel we have the paintbrush we have this leather synthetic wipes i use them to i use them to clean uh, you will see i'll show you how i use them and then we have the the um hair blower hair dryer. or hair dryer hair dryer and block rock, rock yeah yeah, black rod leather conditioning. Um, and also, that you don't see here in the video is a vacuum. I have a vacuum here. Um, so, I am going to do the first step, which is to vacuum this um, this bag inside um, the, all the packets. Because sometimes they come with dirt in it. So, before I clean them with these um, leather synthetic wipes, I first vacuum them. Okay. I'll make some noise right now. So. Okay, so this bag didn't need to be that clean because it's uh, it's, it's very it's in very good condition, but um, I'm gonna put my gloves on. You wanna wear gloves because, you know, some things inside here, the bags will have some dirty things, or when you apply the block rock, you, you don't wanna get that block rock leather conditioner into your hands it's kind of sticky it's good for the leather but it's not good for your hands so well it won't like damage your hands but it is kind of sticky so yeah it's not like it's not really dangerous or anything yeah kind of by the way i have a parrot here that talks in the background so if you can hear <laughs> it it's <laughs> yeah my parrot named christine anyway so what i'll do is clean up with this weather um Le leather, uh, no weather, leather, uh, leather synthetic wipes. You just go, you know, apply it. Just very quick. This is the first cleaning. I'm doing this just to, to show you how to use them. But uh, if, the, if the bag was really, really dirty, you don't have to do this in the outside. You can do it in the inside after you vacuum them. But um, you can go, if it's, the bag is really, really dirty, just go straight to use the um, the jabon de uh, calabaza or the saddle soap in, on the outside because you know this is only like right now if the if the bag is clean like this one you probably only need this uh, clean with the wipes only but I'm gonna show you both anyways after you clean all the the leather on the outside you only wanna you also wanna do this. Yeah, that's my parrot back there just typing. <laughs> She's working 10 years, right? 10 years. Christine, I need you to help me. Come here. Okay. Why is this thing taking, coming off a little bit? You have to cut this off. Oh, uh, sometimes like the, um, the, there's a little bit of color loss. Yeah. Okay, so um, my wife just told me that sometimes there's a little bit of color uh, loss when you do this, but it's, it shouldn't be a lot, only very mildly. I think it's because it hasn't been clean in a long time, probably. So anyway, you can see a little bit of that, but that's normal. A little bit is normal. If it's a lot, like very dark, then somebody put some, um, maybe there's somebody like used, yeah, if it's a very thick, thick, like, 
um, caked on yeah. type of texture. Um, then be, uh, uh, shoe paws. But this is probably yeah. just a little bit of the like dye release because mm -hmm. you're using like a wipe on it. It's yeah. more common, I would say, with like certain colors than um, yeah. than others. Like so, more common with red. It has been clean, and I wanna I wanna dry it before I use the on the calabaza. Like I said, like this one, since it's very clean, you don't need to have on the calabaza, but I'm trying to show you, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. If if you had a very dirty, dirty um, bag, you should wipe, you should first do the vacuum, and then use these wipes inside to get the leftover that the vacuum couldn't get, and then go straight to have on the calabaza or the saddle soap. Do not use this to the outside. It's gonna get super dirty and it's not worth it. This one right now, so I'll be fine with this. I gotta dry it again. I'll show you how I want the calabaza next, okay? Okay, so. Did you explain why you were uh, blow drying it? No, so we're blow drying it, so everything gets dry. So um, if you put any water or any, um, even because this one comes wet, a little bit of wet, um, it has some, some. Um, uh, it is wet. So if you leave it there, it might um, leave a mark, like a water spot. So that's why. Um, you need to blow dry when you uh, either wash it or clean it, unless you dunk it. If you dunk it, it's a different step. You can watch our videos how to dunk it or go online and watch it. But anyways, so that's why we blow, blow dry so everything gets dry and not, there's no water spots and nothing in there. So you can see it's dry. Okay, now. You really only have to worry about water marks forming um, with the lighter colored leather bags. Yeah. You don't really... It's not usually an issue with like black colored bags. Yeah, my parrot keeps talking back in there. <laughs> in the back, oh, wow. the background. Okay, so here, uh, let me move this out of here and let's bring this here. So I opened it, they have one the calabaza or saddle soap. You can buy these on Amazon or on eBay. And just put like, I don't know, a couple of drops of water. You're gonna need a little bit. The tap should be okay. A little more maybe, okay, that's it. You can add more as you want, but I don't want to put too much water because you don't need a lot, especially for this um, small bag. So you mix it, you try to mix it, try to get the water with the, um, so that should be there, maybe a little less, I did too much, but yeah. Um, so let's start with the back to make it easy for you guys. So you apply, you apply it. Let me see a little more here in the back. Try to get all the areas. Okay, now that you apply some of that, you remove the, remove the excess, and you make sure you cover all the areas. Everything that you grab there, uh, that you apply, just remove it a little bit. Okay, and then you do, you clean this one as well. Okay, like that. Okay, now let's go in the front.
Okay, you remove the excess. Okay, see? And you go one more time. I think we're running out of water, so I'm gonna add a little more water. Let me see, just a little more. Get everything out, okay, mix it with it. Make sure you mix it well. And then you apply it. Remove that. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, you always want to clean. There's no water over here on the on the table because if you put your bag on the table and there's water, it might leave a you know a mark. Only you have to only worry about the light colors, but the black ones not that much. And so what I will do next is um to finish is we're done with the hub on the calabaza. You put it away. You put this away. You don't need the water. So we're gonna dry it again. Anyway, I use this guy. Very important. I apply the jabón de calabaza and I, um, when I clean it, maybe I didn't clean it correctly, but there's a little bit um, a line here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go back and put a little bit of this and then clean it. So it, that mark, the little mark, just goes away. That's all you have to do. See, it goes away. You cannot see it probably, but I can, so. Okay, so we're done with this guy. So we um, back in it, we, um, so far, what we, have, what we have done is we vacuum it, we um, wipe it down with these leather wipes, and then we have applied the Habunde Calabasa and we have dried it up. So the next step that I forgot is, you can use one of these, or you can use a, 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 a dry towel like this to um, just go over one more time. So you can do this if you want to, just to like, just get any, any leftover or any, just, just to clean it, right? Just to clean any leftover that you can, that you left there and shine it up. It shines it up better. And then the bag is already, but you don't see here is like, when you apply jabón de calabaza, it moisturizes the leather. It gives it um, a nice, beautiful touch. Um, so I highly recommend you to use jabón de calabaza before you apply any, kind of um, moisturizer and because it removes all the dirt from these ends and when you apply the, the moisturizer, it's, um, it doesn't cover all the dirt, it, it's, it's clean basically. It cleans it up before you apply the moisturizer. And also if you wanna dunk it, for, for first dunk it, then vacuum, then do all these other steps basically. And if you don't wanna dunk the bag, like this one we don't need to because it's a beautiful, Nice condition. Just apply the phone, the calabaza. Okay. Or you can also use one of these brush brushes, um, but you make sure you mark it if it's color or if it's black or brown. You have to make sure, like 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 say this one is this one is for brown and for red colors or red colors only because um, as you can see, some of these bags you don't wanna have a, if you use it for a black, the black can stay here and then you can, you, you, you have, when you use it on a red, it might get this red black. You see, it can transfer a little bit of color. Not a lot, but a little bit to make it darker. So you don't want that. So you make sure, whatever you use, make sure you only use it for red, one for brown, one for black, one for light colors, you know? So hope you get it. You just, you can clean it this way, a little bit.
just to remove any any dirt, any jabón de calabaza left over that got dried out there. In the, in the crevices or in the ends, whatever. Um, okay, so. Okay, so now we haven't really done too much to this, to the, just wipe this down. It's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna apply this. So you only need, uh, according to my boss, which is Kristen, um, you only need a little bit, don't put too much on it. So let's start with the front. Let's start with the front. So you apply it a little bit like this and make sure you you cover over all the areas, every area. Start with one end, like this. And then, make sure you cover all the, all the areas. And this is why you need um, a glove because it's easier to do with a glove. You can do it without it, but I don't know, it's kind of sticky for the, you know, when you apply it, but after three, four days, when you, when it, we're gonna let it dry. After three, four days of letting it dry, it will be um, okay to touch the bag and it won't be as sticky anymore. Yeah. Make sure you don't put too much. Just make sure you just put a little bit. It depends on the condition of the bag, but only a little bit. And then if you need to do, you can come back later, three, four days later after it dries, you put another coat. But in the meantime, you just put a little bit. Uh, make sure you cover all the areas though. Just to all, all the areas, everywhere. Okay, and after you do that, just focus on the these ends right here. Make sure like there's no leftover. Just make sure you use all the material that you have. Distribute it evenly, basically. Um, like I said, don't put too much. And then you, you, you will be able to see the stuff. Once you apply it, you will be able to like work it out. Um, you can see where you missed, because it will be like, no shiny. Uh, just work your way out, work, work your way through. Okay, so you did this ends. Now I'm gonna focus on the sides. I'm, I'm doing it too fast because I am, I'm an expert on cleaning shoes, so I know how to apply it. But if you can go slow, just make sure you cover all the areas. Uh, you know, make sure you don't leave a lot of this stuff in it. Just make sure you distribute it, that's all evenly to all the parts everywhere and then um that's it that's that's a trick i think this bag only needs one coat like i said because it's very good condition but if the bag needed another coat i had to let it dry for three days or four days touch it make sure it's dry then apply another coat and make sure it's clean you you might have to clean it with a little with a brush or with this or with a towel. Um, because, you know, dust probably builds up after three, four days of the bag staying still in one place. So just clean out the dust and apply another coat. Easy. So, see? Easy peasy. You apply it. And you... Make sure you cover everything. Okay. And then one more. We gotta use this guy. If you can open it and if you can go inside, do it. But 
this one is kind of hard to go into inside of this area it's not a lot of space so i won't do it and especially because it's brand new i mean uh, not brand new but it's a very good condition bag so i was like i'm not i'm not gonna do it it depends on the condition of your bag so let me see let me see You will be able to feel it when you're out of this, when you're applying it because it will start being dry. So it, when you when you apply, it should be smooth. It should be easy to, like say, to apply and then slide it. Think about you dealing with oil and run, running out of oil and it will be dry. So that's how you know that you need to get more of that, of the uh, moisturizer. See, more of that. If you put too much, it's no problem, I think, but it will take longer to dry. So rather than, if, if I apply a little bit, just enough, just what it needs, it will probably dry in two, three days. But if I apply, apply too much, um, too much of the, this um, moisturizer, the black rock, it might take like five, six days to, but it won't hurt the bag. Just, just basically, just, it will take longer to dry. But I, I recommend don't put too much, don't put too little, just dry about, like I said, just take what you need and just use it. And then once you're done with it, you go and apply more. So as, as needed, basically. Uh, some bags are really, really dry. So they will just take a lot of um, moisturizer. Some of them are like, like this one doesn't need a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over it really quick just to smooth it out. Okay. So we are done. Okay, one more thing. Whatever you do, you do not put any um, any moisturizer on the suede part. You do not do that here. It has to be the smooth size. That's where you put it. But the suede part, no, no, no. You gotta be careful. So do not put anything here in this part like a suede. Only, only in the smooth part of the leather. Um, why? Because if you do that, it might. Um, I know in my experience as a shoe cleaner, if you put anything to this and if you use this kind of brush or this kind, it will make it shiny. It will make, it will build up a little part where it's shiny and you don't want this part to be shiny. It's supposed to be like, like, um, you know, um, you, you know what I mean? Like it, it will, it will just be look, it's starting looking like a smooth leather and you don't want this. This one you want like this, this kind of leather. So anyways, so that's it. After you, um, after you um, apply all the thing, you you look around. There is no less, uh, there is no um, leftover, like a build up. Everything is smooth. So what you do now is you use a piece of paper like this. Um, what kind of paper is this, Christine? Packing paper. Packing paper. So she buys packing paper, and then you leave it. Make sure you put in like an area where you won't touch it. Make sure you leave it open. Leave it, leave it um, open so it breathes in here. If you, you know, so put something in there, like I don't know, don't put, I don't know, put something to hold it down. Or, or, or in this case, like this one is leave open, so it's so good. Leave it like this. Make sure, make sure your, um, your um, strap is in a good condition like this. Just fold it, make it look nice. Make sure that it's room in there to dry. It's kind of hard to, to show you here, but yeah, like that maybe. Make sure, yeah. Make sure there is room to dry. Cause we need to, we need, we need this, um, we need this um, moisturizer to dry. So, okay. So that's it. This is it. This is what we do sometimes to these bags. We vacuum it. We um, wipe it down if they are clean, but if it's too dirty, we just go straight to um, the Jabón de Calabaza, and then we apply the moisturizer. Um, yeah. So it depends on the bag, the condition of the bag, you will see what you can do. But yeah, the inside is good. You always wanna clean it with something like that, no matter what, inside. The inside, because after the vacuum, you have to 
use this. It's, it, it, believe me, it gets a lot of stuff. And I think Christian will put the, um, Christian will put the, the links to where she buys the black rock, the jabon de calabaza, and the paper and everything, everything we use here, okay? So if you have any comments or you need any more information, please let, let us know. Um, I'm just trying to do this to help Christian. I'm not the, the business owner, but I'm just CEO. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just trying to help her, okay? So yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. Thumbs up and uh, I can do another one in a little bit. Adios, bye-bye.